Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You want my advice? Did you hear what happened to Kirkwall? My advice nearly tore that city apart. I'm not saying I intend to follow your advice. I see why you stuck around. Whatever happens, it'll make for a great story. And if it doesn't, you'll just make up something better. What would you like to know? Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well? Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Loghain. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully, my friend and the Wardens will know more. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. You said you thought you killed Corypheus? The Great Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back, or maybe it's all to Vinter magic. But he was dead, I swear it. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. We thought that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to hunt for us. But all the circles were rising up by then. We helped a lot of them take that final step. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My brother's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Aveline take him as far from Orlais as possible, when all the Wardens started acting strangely. I had to keep my family safe. I'm never really happy leaving Anders alone. But once I realized Wardens were acting strangely, I had no choice. I've seen Corypheus affect Anders' mind before. If he was involved, I couldn't risk it happening again. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? He's not just a monster, or a hero. Maybe he's both. He was trying to change the world. He knew it couldn't happen peacefully. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. <laughs>